Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Melanie and today we're going to delve into the intricate world of neuroscience and dog training methods. We will look at the surprising connection between positive reinforcement and pain. I will also demonstrate how pain is linked to food rewards and provide some tips on how you can optimize your training. But first, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more exciting insights into your neuroscience, dog behavior and training. Let's start by exploring the hunger drive. And before I zoom in, let me zoom out for just a moment. At its core, the brain is designed to ensure survival. Nature has engineered a feedback loop in our brains and our dog's brains that drives us to seek pleasure and avoid pain, ultimately promoting survival. Dopamine a neurotransmitter lies at the heart of your reward system, propelling you and your dog towards pleasurable experiences. From play to exploring new sniff spots to cuddling on the couch to snatching the treat out of your hand, your dog is actively seeking out situations that feel rewarding. However, pleasure alone isn't enough. Avoiding all forms of pain is equally vital for survival. There are people who have lost the ability to feel pain and unfortunately, they tend to have a lower survival rate. If you don't recognize pain or discomfort, you don't know how to quench that hunger, warm up when freezing, or go to a doctor when something hurts. When we talk about food rewards, we have to talk about hunger pain. Positive reinforcement hinges on the dog's desire for food. Not just a mild interest, but a strong motivation to work for it. This does not mean starving your dog, but a slight hunger is essential to maximize the benefits of food rewards. Your dog might seem excited to work for the food. The motivation behind it isn't pure pleasure, but also to stop the discomfort or pain that comes with feeling hungry. Now, some of you might think, well, that's not the same as physically hurting a dog. When it comes to the brain, it actually is quite similar. Pain is indeed a multifaceted experience that encompasses physical, emotional, and psychological aspects. While physical pain is often the most obvious and recognizable form of pain, other types of discomfort such as hunger, emotional distress, or social rejection are also interpreted by the brain as painful experiences. Social rejection activates the same pain pathways in the brain as physical pain does. Studies even show that painkillers like Tylenol alleviate the pain of social rejection. Dogs are incredible social animals. Belonging to a pack is important for survival. Now think of a dog who is being put in a crate for timeout after maybe playing too rough. Some dogs start whining and pacing. This dog doesn't experience any physical pain, but it can be painful nevertheless. By no means do I want to make the point that we can socially exclude our dogs or have to put in more effort to avoid all types of pain. Rather, I encourage to view pain as a spectrum of discomfort that ranges from mild to severe and can be caused by various factors, not just physically. This helps us understand that the linear and simple separation of pure positive only versus balanced training is indeed a little bit too simple and does not account for the beautifully complex pleasure and pain balance the brain has engineered. Training with food rewards is inherently linked to pain. Now you might say, no problem, I just keep my dog satiated, he or she loves food regardless, no harm, no pain. Well, there's a twist. If the dog lacks motivation for food, but you persist in offering it, maybe you're in the middle of a group training session, or you went all the way out to a park where you are determined to prove your obedience. If your dog has no drive for the food, it can become aversive. Let me make this very clear for you. Imagine the anticipation and excitement building up to a Thanksgiving feast. Yet after all indulging, the mere thought of another plate of mashed potatoes and turkey can make you feel nauseous. You know, this reflexive sensation of gagging. This shift from craving to aversion is influenced by the pleasure-pain balance of the reward system. In the same way, during an hour-long training session, each food reward saturates your dog more, gradually shifting from craving to aversion. This transition can slow down or even stop the learning process. So halfway through your training session, you might end up with empty repetitions. 
all fluff and no substance when it comes to memory formation of new behaviors. Food rewards can be incredibly powerful for your training efforts when used correctly. Maintaining a high motivation for food ensures they stay engaged and receptive, but that is inevitably linked to mild discomfort, aka pain. Now let's move on to the second concept, anticipation. Remember being a child and your parents promising a treat for maybe completing a certain task? You might get ice cream once you complete your homework or you might stay up longer once you clean up your room. In the brain, this maybe is perceived as a definitive yes. Now expectations are high. You as a child already saw yourself eating that ice cream. However, if the promise isn't fulfilled, and I think we all has been there where we didn't follow through because, I don't know, life got in the way. Dopamine of our reward system crashes big time. This creates a huge disappointment that is much more profound than if nothing was promised. Let me give you a quick example that will highlight better why this is related to dog training. I recall a Christmas Eve, I must have been 12 years old or so, back in Germany. It was time to open up gifts and I was so excited. As a nerd, I probably somehow expected some kind of books. I loved Sherlock Holmes back then. Instead, I received an incredibly ugly sweater, which I immediately hated. And it filled me with disappointment and even tears. This intense emotion was due to the stark contrast between my expectations and reality, causing my dopamine levels to tank. Your pleasure pain system is a miraculous fine-tuned mechanism that indeed is meant to keep you safe. If you're expecting something amazing and get disappointed, it might not be as important for your survival anymore and your brain tells you to get out of there. So this ugly sweater certainly was not important for my survival. And the neurobiological basis of such disappointment, meaning this discomfort we feel is the same that dogs can feel when expectations are violated. Now you're thinking, wait a second, how does my dog have expectations? Well, just like your brain, your dog also makes predictions about what is coming next. Researchers rewarded monkeys with four pieces of raisins for pushing a button for a period of time. Now the monkeys expected four pieces of raisins. In the next round, they would get only two pieces and indeed the motivation to push the button decreased the monkeys felt punished. Similarly, starting a training session with something of very high value, like cheese or sausage, and then switching to kibble or dry treats can also lead to disappointment in your dog. And this disappointment can yet again slow down learning and, in the worst case, foster negative associations with the process. This is particularly important for dogs who are picky eaters. If my Melanora Anya doesn't like the food, she will turn her head in aversion. The effectiveness of positive reinforcement lies in balancing the pain-pleasure equilibrium. One doesn't exist without the other. It's a beautiful and powerful system. And by acknowledging that, we can create training strategies based on empathy, trust, and skills. Food rewards can be powerful if used correctly, keep the motivation high, and don't violate your dog's expectations during a training session. And if you're not sure, give your dog just a little appetizer to test if the motivation is there before you start your training session officially. I call this the show me the money test. If this was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. That was it for today. I'm Dr. Melanie. See you soon with a brand new video.